The following video was made for entertainment purposes. This video is not meant to represent the real individuals involved in this video. All voices have been AI generated. Please enjoy. What it is, everyone, it is me, Barack Obama, here again with Joe Biden to watch Donald Trump burn the world's largest spider known to man. Yes, sir, that is correct. We're killing this thing once and for all in this video. No holding back against this demon. And avenge my long lost cousin, Eugene. Anyways, for those who haven't seen the first part of the video, we had our bouts with a demon train thing named Charles, who's terrorizing an island. We were called by Eugene to put an end to this train and save the island. Right now, the plan is to collect three eggs that are being hidden away by a madman who very much organized a cult named Warren. We have one out of three and plan to retrieve the other two in this video. If I can even remember correctly, once we do, then we can finally have that one on one against Charles without him escaping. But for now, we need to collect more scraps so that way we can properly upgrade our train to make sure Charles doesn't stand a chance. Which means we'll be doing a whole lot of missions from here on out. But it'll be worth the wait. With all of that out of the way, let's head onwards, gentlemen. We have a demonic spider to kill. If I'm not mistaken, we left off at getting some journal for some guy who forgot it in his process of escaping. But since the dude is across the island, we'll have to prioritize other missions first before coming back to him. Speaking of which, this fellow over here might be able to give us a pretty useful weapon to use against that train demon. So let's travel to him first. What sight for eyes is this right here? It kind of looked like some sort of training ground with the signs and boarded up walls. Maybe it was for explosives and stuff. All right, well, we arrived, boys. Let's check and see what this person wants. Paul asked me to design a new weapon to help you hunt Charles. And using my extensive demolitions experience, I made this rocket launcher. A rocket launcher? Oh, hell yeah, I've baby. I've been wanting to see Warren's empire crumble for a long time. Me too, buddy. So building this puppy was a hell of an opportunity. Now that you're here, I need a few minutes to remove some safety features. While I'm working on that, why don't you bring that box of rocket ammunition back here from inside the bunker down the rail? I don't know about you guys, but he's my favorite out of everyone we've met so far. I guess being paid back with a rocket launcher as our weapon is a pretty good exchange for a deal. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's head down there and get the supplies. Say less, Obama. Way ahead of you. Oh, wow, I knew it. We were heading down to the little training ground site. And you thought to have never said this aloud? Just didn't want to make myself a fool in case I was wrong. Well, congrats, Biden. You'll receive half of a clap in honor of you guessing correctly. How come I don't hear you clapping for me? Oh my goodness, Joe. Darn it, the door won't budge open. Do we have to go back to that guy just to ask for the keys or something? No, I don't think so. Someone like him wouldn't just magically forget to give us the keys to a very important area. We might need something else, gentlemen. I now immediately know what this is useful for. We're just gonna blow it up? Unless you can think of something better right now, that's the plan, Obama. I could have sworn there was one time we trusted you with some sort of explosive and that went horribly. Relax, bro, it's just a singular door we're blowing up with just some simple TNT, we'll be fine. Oh my, oh my goodness. goodness. Well, so much for it being a simple TNT. Some of your health was stripped away. It's fine, guys, we'll figure out how to recover it later. I'm starting to think the cult came here to lock the ammo up on purpose. Why would they lock it up if they could just take the ammo with them? Remember how easy it was to get that first egg? They were probably just lazy bums or something. I hope this isn't you making the assumption that the other two eggs will be as easy as well. What are a bunch of cult guards gonna do against a train that can take on Charles? You think they can even scratch it even the smallest bit? Wouldn't it be safe to assume so since this is a world where a demon train that has spider legs can lay eggs like nobody's business? That's the thing you question? Not the part where Charles exists at all? Still no way they have something prepared for this train. The launcher is in complete working order, so I'll let you take it from here. Excellent work, John. Well, we'll test this baby out in no time. After you're done, I have a few people to visit with it if you catch my drift. Is he talking about the cultist people he needs to deal with? Likely so. I don't know what else he'd be talking about if it wasn't the case at all. I'm stuck debating oh, if now. Warren made us bring our families to this hellhole so that we'd never need to leave or to keep information about his business practices away from the mainland. Either way, I want that man in a noose. Paul asked me to design a new weapon for the monster hunter that Eugene is sending, and knowing what I do about explosives, you can bet I made the most powerful rocket launcher I could. Warren, you don't stand a chance. Now that is why I love John Smith.
slow but presumably powerful. Maybe this is one of those weapons that should be used if the opportunity calls for it. What the heck does that mean? It's his polite way of saying he's going to use it pretty rarely. I I'm sure Eugene told you all about me, so I need not introduce myself. Sir, why do you look slightly malnourished? Greg, Something Greg. about you just doesn't look so hey, normal, my you guy. You have a thing with opening your mouth every time someone only manages to speak out one sentence. That's what keeps me interesting in these videos. You know I'm coming, you just don't know what I'm about to say. Actually, I'd want to argue that's what's keeping us from speaking, Donald. No offense, of course. This Greg to, here you know? acts like as if oh Warren gosh, isn't Donald. behind a cult or something. Okay, wow, that's actually pretty far from here. We should probably check out a mission or two before traveling across the whole map. But first, just for the sake of convenience, let's return that journal of the one other guy. Dude, better give us some scraps for this many miles we had to cross for him. Oh yeah, wait, weird time to bring this up. But yeah, why did John kind of sound like as if his soul was already snatched with a soul snatcher? Every time he spoke, he sounded like as if he wasn't getting paid enough to act or something. Maybe he just woke up on the wrong side of the bed and had to deal with some of those cultist people. I mean, I think that's how I would have sounded if I had to deal with pests like them. Thank you so much for bringing my journal. I would hope for your own good that you didn't peek inside. Dang it, now that he mentioned it, I wished I did. What would have been so special about his journal? For all we know, it was just some diary. Barack, even if it was just a diary, how would we know he was or wasn't part of the cult we keep talking about? Yeah, what if that diary had very important details of the cult we need to handle with? Something about you two and just not letting things stay a secret. Holy cow, 46, I apologize for every bad thing I've said about him. Thanks for the scraps. Whoa, the model of the train is now different. That's pretty cool. Guess the scraps was enough to make it more bad to the bone. Suddenly my confidence has been boosted to a substantial amount. It finally no longer looks like it was drawings keeping this thing together. Now it actually looks like a prepped up machine. All right, let's go to this individual and see what we need to do. Say, you're that monster hunter. I must know, do you have any experience with ghosts? Ghosts, that's oddly specific Someone of you, ma'am. Someone or something has been pinning exactly 16 drawings to lampposts in the boulder field every night. I always collect and burn them, but as I was looking for them last night, I began hearing strange noises and seeing strange things. I only found half of them yesterday because of the commotion. Could you go find the last date and bring them to me? So now we're tasked to look for eight pages? Wait, why does that oddly sound like a familiar thing? Something about looking for eight pages. Wait a second, this is exactly like Slender the Eight Pages. What the heck is a Slender Pages, whatever you just said just now? That's actually a game we have in our catalog we were going to play later down the line. Oh, wait, really? Okay, that's cool and all, but what is the game you mentioned, though? You'll know just from seeing whatever's gonna happen to Trump. Oh, what the heck, that's so vague, though. Holy Whoa, cow! Move out of way, ghost, I'm trying to look for pages. Wow, we just got started and this thing is already on our tail. Anyone know what this thing is even saying? Not a singular clue, it's just ghost gibberish, I guess. Why are you two so calm despite the fact this thing is literally right behind I'm us? I'm focusing on running more than you think, Joe. What? Did it just teleport us out of the map? I don't know, but that sounds much better than dying if you ask me. All right, at least we can just head back into action even when we're taken. Bro, he's already here. And he already took you. Dang it. How are we even supposed to outrun this thing? I have an idea, but it'll require sacrificing my thumb to do this. Oh, hell no. No way we're fighting Charles while looking for these pages while also being chased down by a ghost. Make this quick, Donnie. We can't keep dilly-dallying any longer. Dilly-dallying, golly. I don't remember the last time anyone has ever said that. Back in my days, I was one of the few breathing souls to ever say that phrase. I and many others usually have said it towards kids that were taking too long to do their schoolwork and such. So when we said no more dilly dallying, the kids knew that we were going to do some math. Are you constantly jumping from the ghost? Is that what you meant when you were sacrificing your thumb? Yes, because this is actually starting to hurt my thumb. I'm mashing the space bar like no tomorrow and I can already feel cramps coming soon. Gosh, I'm doing everything in my power to juke this ghost out, but he comes from behind so quickly. It doesn't help that you're taking fall damage just from trying to circle around him. Frick, man, I'm already starting to feel the cramps in my thumb. I'm a little too old to be pressing this space bar like crazy. And even then, he's still catching up to you, Donald. Hurry and find that last page. What do you think I'm doing, Obama? Come on, where the heck can one simple last page even be hiding? There it is, Donald. I see it, I see it. 
Phew, that was close. We're finally done with that awful mission. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Say less, Obama. We can't let Charles keep waiting for us. Thanks for bringing me those papers. Here are some scraps for your help. Holy cow. Thanks, ma'am, but we have a train to battle at the moment. He's already that close by? Oh, this is bad. Holy moly, 51 scraps. Thanks a bunch, ma'am. Hurry up and ready up for Charles. He certainly has to be close by. Wait, do you guys see him there in the distance? Oh my goodness, yes I do. Does he actually see us or are we too out of sight from him? I think right now we actually are out of sight, though he definitely seems to be searching for us. I'm very tempted to get his attention right now so he doesn't get a sidetrack from our mission. Oh gosh, he's coming. Well, congratulations, Donald. You got his attention. You happy? Genuinely serious. I didn't expect that to work at all. I thought Charles was deaf. Doesn't matter. However, it's still the same song and dance, only now I have a rocket launcher just for you, Charles. Either I have a bad memory or Charles looks to be crawling much faster than usual. Actually, yeah, now that you say that, he definitely seems to be stronger and faster than last time, I think. He's catching up to our upgraded train quite quickly. It is also not helping that the rocket launcher is missing somehow. I'm gonna bet this one shot on him. Please don't miss. Boom, baby. Wow, so not only did it actually land, but that was enough to send him away. That must have been one powerful shot if that scared Charles back into hiding. Guess John wasn't kidding when he said he was gonna make one powerful rocket launcher. A rocket launcher so powerful that Warren won't stand a chance either. Whenever possible, we're coming for him next and make him fess up. Although it kind of sucks that that fight sent us much further away from our primary mission. Guess we're doing more country roading, boys. So then I suplexed him so hard, he actually called for his mommy in the middle of the subway train station. Ah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what a joker that guy is. Hey, wait, do you guys hear that? Hey, whoa, who was that? Wait a second, where are we guys? What was that? It almost sounded like people or something. Get to the guns just in case. They didn't sound too friendly to me. Okay, now I know we need to fight. Whoa, you just ran over someone? I actually didn't intend to do that. Well, it doesn't matter. Clearly, whoever these people are seem to be attacking us. Wait, hold on. Is this the cultist people? I see some creepy looking masks. It is. Hurry and get rid of them, Donald. With pleasure, Obama. No more Charles followers for tonight, gentlemen. Heck, all of those shots missed. Guess this is the part where the rocket launcher comes into great use. Oh yes, very much great use. Do you think that was all of them? I don't see any more coming after us, so I would assume so. Wait, I just realized, are we in some campground? Why not check the place out since no one's out for us right now? Once again, another locked door. Wow, this actually is a campground. Did we just step into the homeland of the cult? To think we've arrived on accident. Guess it was fate, especially talking about Trump. Yeah, at this point, there's no denying it. This is one million percent a cult. Creepy masks, a campground. What more could we ask for? Not to mention the flags hanging on some of these buildings. Are they worshipers or something? Isn't that the point of a cult? to worship a deity of some sort while also doing some very underhanded practices like sacrifices, weird code dresses and stuff related to that? Yes, Obama, and judging from this area and those people with loaded weapons, black bodysuits and masks, this is without question a cult. But now that we know where this place is, Warren's in one heck of some trouble here. Are you reading this again, Donnie? Wait, can I try reading? I never got to read anything. Oh, what the heck, go ahead, Joe. Thanks, Donnie. Anyways, this paper reads, We've been digging for over a month, and I'm beginning to wonder what we're really doing here. There are ancient stone ruins above ground, as well as ruins being discovered underground. Some sort of temple in a large cavern was uncovered at one of the other mines. Are we really digging for gold veins? Before we ask about the contents of that note, I think we should first ask the most important question of that note. 
Who wrote that note in the first place? Actually, yeah, who did write that note? Because if it was someone from the cult, that would mean that note was probably written before this whole thing happened in the first place. But if it was someone like Eugene who was supervising the mines or whatnot, that would mean the miners unrelated to Warren's cult have no clue what they're doing and are just being misled. To me, there's a chance it was someone who could have been part of the cult but was later executed because of his questions. Assuming cults like this one do that at least. Actually, that's not as far-fetched as I think. Maybe that really did happen. What do you think those big poles on the desk for? I don't know, but I'm making the assumption they might be for something later. Maybe there's a side mission that wants us to retrieve those poles. Anyways, we should probably resume to where we were heading, the mines. Still gonna be a long while till we get there. Guess that means more fun stories to talk about. Anyone got anything to talk about? I have a story in mind. There was one late night dinner I had with Melania at a Japanese restaurant. Nice place, by the way. And when we walked in, we saw a massive argument happening between three people, all of whom were speaking different languages. It was one funny sight to see if I so say then so come myself. to find out this whole time. Someone duped the whole restaurant into playing the most heated game of charades us two have ever seen. It was wild, but fun to watch. <laughs> wow, what a story. That was really funny. It seems like we're here, boys. Time to find this stupid egg and kick some Warren butt. Hold on, there's a guard outside with me? They're already amping up the security of these eggs? Stop right there! No thanks, I don't listen to people like you wearing weirdo masks. Wow, you're just really booking it, huh? Unless you can suggest to me something better right now, yes, that's my plan, sir. But wouldn't there be more guards to deal with soon? When the time comes, we'll just pull the biggest 180 they've ever seen. Oh my gosh, Donald. Okay, this just suddenly went from bad to worst. We need to get out of here. But where? We have two of them on our tails, Donald. Obviously, back to the train. We can't fight them here. Not without some sort of weapon. I'm sorry, Thumb, but I need you to be mashing today. This is very important. Run, Forrest, run. run. Oh my gosh, he is still on my freaking tail. Bro just dodged a bullet right there. Don't stop, keep running. I see the train guy. Hurry up and get in there so you can burn him to smithereens. He is still on our tail as we speak. That missed? You're kidding me? Oh my gosh, Donald. Oh my gosh, these missiles are not helping at Quick, all. Equip good old bug spray, now. Phew, that was close. Should we just make it a plan that whenever we're caught, we just book it to the train? Yeah, I think we should stick to that plan. My concern right now is that the other one who spotted us didn't seem to trail us, meaning he's still in there. Then I guess we just have to prepare for him then. I have to walk behind him. There's no other way around him. Okay, the coast seems to be clear for now. Hopefully, if we run into someone again, we'll have time to get back to the train. What the heck is this bridge for? I'm not sure right now. Maybe it'll serve as a second exit out of here if we find some sort of switch for it. Okay, this time I don't see him, nor hear him. I hope this means the path is cleared right now. Kind of in a bad spot to run back at the moment. What the heck did that lever just do? There it is, Donald. Go get it before we get caught again. Bingo! Now it's ours. Just only one egg left to go and it's fireworks, baby! Don't celebrate too soon, Donnie. We still have to get out of here. I know, Barry. I'm on it. Nah, man. I'm dipping. No way I'm getting caught again, homie. Holy moly, that was so loud. Hurry up and get out of there before someone checks to investigate the noise we caused. Hey, You're not convincing me. He spotted me, not only across the yard, but also without even having his peripheral vision towards me. Shut it and just dip, Donald. Get closer, I dare you, bozo. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Get smoked to death. Guess Warren should have made fireproof bodysuits for you guys. All right, well, where to now, gentlemen? Since there's a lot of important icons here, we should probably go to them all right now. Get us closer to whatever's the end game. Shouldn't we still try looking for some more scraps for the sake of upgrading our train? Don't worry, Joe, we plan on doing that somewhere midway through. Well, for now, let's just progress through the game to get closer.
Araniarum Municipal Building. The heck is this place? I don't know, but something about you saying it out loud was kind of funny. How about you say it as well, Mr. Biden? Araniarum Municipal Building. That was a very weird thing to say. What the heck does that even mean? I don't know. Guess we'll find out eventually. I have discussed our latest battle plan with everyone and nobody had objections. The whole crew knows what to do and will set the track's directions accordingly when the time comes. All the archivist needs to focus on is pummeling that beast, keeping his distance, and getting Charles to his weakest point. My father should be back within two days, at which point we can supply him and the hunter with the keys and other supplies we've gathered. We never wanted to take such harsh action against Warren and the other miners, but he's twisted our arms too long. Charles needs to go and Warren won't stand in our way. I wonder who wrote that note. Do you guys think those miners that were mentioned are part of the cult or not? I don't want to jump to conclusions yet, so let's just assume the miners were the ones tricked by Warren. I've been staking out this area for days, and Charles has never crossed the old wood bridge. Somehow that beast is cunning enough to know it's dangerous, but if he's angry and desperate, he might just chase someone across it. Then BAM! We use John's bombs to blow the whole thing up, and Charles falls face first into the canyon. If the blast doesn't kill him, the fall surely will. You're the archivist my father told me about. My cousin's son? Although, I'm disappointed to see that he chose to stay on the mainland rather than return with you. Oh yeah, uh, about that, sir. Bro, Not who's gonna to tell him the news? Help isn't appreciated, but we could have used his aid as well. If you haven't already heard from the others, the mine boss Warren is protecting dangerous monster eggs that could lead to catastrophe. While our main plan is to summon Charles into a duel and fight him to the death, we've devised a perfect trap as a precaution that may help defeat him. Go attach these remote explosives to each of the support pillars under the wood bridge out there. Then, meet me back here. All right, so while I set up these bombs, shall we discuss the new info we gathered, gentlemen? Yes, Trump. How about we start with the reason why we were bringing these eggs in the first place? Everyone kept telling us about collecting the eggs so we can duke it out with Charles, but never really mentioned why. And now, we know. We're basically luring him to this bridge so we can blow him up? Seems so, Joey. I guess it does make sense. I mean, my weapons are awesome and whatnot, but now that I put some more thought into it, I don't think my weapons I was given were designed to actually kill Charles. As the note we read earlier mentioned, they were to weaken him so that way the plan goes into full motion. Though this plan is reliant on you actually being able to knock down Charles. Can we trust you do that, Donald? Unless you're trying to tell me Charles has something up his non-existent sleeves, I'm pretty sure I have this in the bag. Like I said before, once we get all three eggs, it's fireworks, baby. That's the tallest and weakest bridge on the island. So if Charles ever crosses it, we can blow him sky high. I'll be on standby to detonate the charges, but it's still up to you to summon and fight him. I don't see the here, problem here, sir. This. It's the key to the temple. Once you think you're prepared enough, you can break in and fight the battle of a lifetime. After we get the last egg and finish a couple missions for the sake of upgrading the train. Now we head over to the last red icon individual to get our last weapon. I hope it's something pretty cool and sweet. Oh gosh, that hurt. So, the fabled hunter has finally arrived. You know, my late husband built a gun to help fight Charles, but Warren's goons stole the barrels and took him up to their camp. Bob was such a brave man. Much braver than you, I bet. Bias much, but don't blame you either. What I have left of the gun and steal back those other parts, you can put it back together to use against Charles. Just do me one favor, will ya? Go ahead, what's your request? If you do end up using it, name it Bob in memory of my honey. Wow, I was correct before we even got to see it. This weapon is gonna be sweet just cause of that favor alone. I have no problem with accepting that request. Your husband must have been one brave soul to help battle the demon train before I arrived. I see no problems naming a weapon after him. Either I'm crazy or you're suddenly polite for some reason. Sudden, you say? I'm just complimenting someone for helping our cause, that's all. You think I've never done something like that before? Maybe. Oh, wait a second. Somehow this just occurred to me. We were coming here, the campground we already destroyed. I guess this means those poles on that desk are something we can use. Wait, that was it? 
I guess I should first find out how powerful this thing is before judging it. So far, I don't know how I feel about it. Oh, come on, give this weapon some faith. It's named Bob for a reason. It's named after the guy who passed down the torch to us. These Charles worshipers are gonna get it when I use Bob to blast them in the face. That's the spirit. The archivist, in all your radiant glory. Thank you, kind sir. Paul entrusted me with a key to one of the mines containing an egg. But before I give it to you, I have to warn you about something. Oh great, what is it, Paul? There's an ancient shrine on the island. A pyramid of sorts, with a curious prism located at the top. Now for the real warning. Charles has the ability to absorb energy from the burst. Oh great, fantastic. So he does have a trick up his sleeve? Being able to absorb the energy beam to become even stronger. Okay, so since the guy was giving a sweet long explanation, we're just gonna sum it up for him. We need the eggs because of a contraption that uses them, which will both summon Charles and anger him, but unfortunately, it will also empower him. Meaning we have to be absolutely ready for the danger ahead. Oh, what the heck? Where on this island did you come from, sir? He's even getting better at sneaking up on us. Just shoot him down like you have twice already, Donald. I'm on it, Obama. Okay, maybe you guys were right. He seems to be a lot more faster than usual. He's catching up to my train so quickly. If he's this quick, how quick will he be once he's strong? No time to fret about it now. Just keep shooting him. Just get the heck out of here already. You put me so out of path to my objective. Leave or die, Charles. Whoa, what the heck? Has anyone ever seen that before? He ran away by running towards us faster. I don't know why, but seeing how he ran away actually puts me on edge. Well, guess we're taking the long way, boys. Guess we're doing more road tripping then. Let's just cut back to when we actually go look for the egg, since I don't think the viewers need to see the boring optional missions. Unless something interesting happens, agreed. Let's get going, boys. All right, we're here now, gentlemen. You shouldn't be here. Oh my gosh, this is how we're starting. Good job, Donald. Two steps in and already triggered a guard. Okay, listen, Obama. How was I supposed to know the guard was already there? Shut it, you two, and just run, Donnie. The moment I see this guard, he's dead on sight. I don't know why, but I'm surprised you were able to get to the train in time. I'm starting to think I should just attract all the guards to my train just to get them out of my way. Wouldn't that take a while, though? Not for the viewers. We can just skip all the time it takes taking out each one. No visitors allowed! Okay, seriously, this is why we're doing this. I didn't even see him, and he's already on my tail. Maybe you just need to improve your stealth game, Donald. On one hand, I understand, but on the other hand, shut it, Biden. Stop right there. Wow, he managed to get two shots in before succumbing to the fire. Crazy. Guess these were the only guards to have a decently improved bodysuit. Don't know how much of an improvement that is since they still die either way. Wait, where is this thing taking us to? If it's away from the train, I might actually have to level up my stealth game. We're descending into the mine further, meaning yes, we won't be able to access our train for a while, I assume. Suddenly I'm worried we're gonna get caught. Don't worry, Joe. If I take this seriously, we should be fine. I'm a little worried you used the word should instead of will. I said we'll be fine, Obama. Just believe it for a moment. I'm just gonna hope we weren't spotted already. Oh, great. We're cornered already. Oh, that's just great. So where the guard just came from is our only path. Oh, my gosh. He spotted me already. I was cornered, bro. So much for leveling up your stealth game. Nothing happened in it. You're already spotted. Joe Biden, calm down so we can just book it out of here. Donald, get that third egg and run like the wind. I'm trying Obama. We already got it. Now I just have to book it and find something to elevate us out of here. There it is. There it is. Go, go, go. OK, I think we lost him. Oh my gosh, you're not serious. They're out of the mines and we're already on the loose. Just go, Donald, run and jump. Just get out of here and quickly get to the train. Holy cow, I just realized, where on earth is my train? Where are we? I don't know, I don't know. Just keep running, Trump. What do you think I'm doing, Biden? Wait, I think I know where we are. The train shouldn't be too far from here. Then go, Donald, go, go, go. Come on, baby, I'm almost there. Eat this, you no good cult worshipers. Oh, 
Wait, there were three? Holy cow, they kind of did some damage to your train. All right, suddenly I'm a little worried now. My armor is at level eight, and it took this much damage over some simple shotgun blasts. Well, this is bad. Are we even going to beat Charles in that final battle? We have to, Joe. I swore I would, not just for this island, but also for Eugene. I will defeat him. I have an unnaturally bad feeling about this. Wait, is this where I think this is? Is this the place we started from the beginning? My goodness, what a long way we've come. Wait, this is where we started? Is my long lost cousin's body still here? I need to know. Guys, I don't think he's here anymore. He's gone now. This can't be. I was hoping to see him again. Give him another goodbye and tell him we had this in the bag. But he really is gone. My heart, oh, um, it's aching. It's okay, Joey. I know he's looking after you, wishing us the best of luck against this train demon. We have this in the bag, Joe. You're right, Donald. Eugene, just watch us. We got this. Anyways, let's fast forward in time to when something interesting happens. Where the heck is he? Oh no, the music's playing. Oh my gosh, why is he coming at me at a million miles an hour? Shut it and just get the train moving already. I swear to God, once I'm through with you, I'll make sure to fund money to a device that detects any signs of you, so that way we'd prepare airstrikes specifically for you. And once again, your rocket launcher is missing. Use something else, Donald. Gosh darn it. Come on, John, I love your rocket launcher, Tom, but why does it always miss? Look at Bob go. Despite being slow, he's slowing down Charles quite successfully. Wait a second, I just realized. Is it me or does Charles look angry? I can kind of see it. So he does have expressions after all? Now I really want to know what he looks like when he's afraid. Guess I'm going to have to snuff it out of him. Or he can just run away like a coward once again. Well, guess we're moving on normally then. All right, let's get a move on then, gentlemen. I've done it, boys. I've confused the heck out of him. I've already won this fight. I'm sorry, what fight? Man, oh man, we're finally here, boys. Can you believe it? Seriously, what a long way we've come. Feels kind of wild this is about to be the end of it all. Finally, it's time to get this over with. Kill that demonic spider train and dismantle the cult worshippers. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's head on, gentlemen. That? Nope, see you later, buddy. You're not important right now. I don't feel like running back to my train just for you. Okay, let's hurry up before something happens. Is this truly it, guys? Are we finally at the end? We have all three of them here and ready for this thing. One. Two. Three. What the heck? Warren in the flesh? It's finally about time you showed your ugly face here. Donald, we seem to be in a pickle here. We can't run back to our train now, and there's a lot of shotguns pointed directly at us. What do we do, Donald? You know what we do? We say, screw you, Warren. I don't care what you have to say. Third egg in we go. No! No! You fool! You Oh my gosh, he's right there! It already attracted Charles right here. Ah, dang. I suspected this much, but was hoping this wasn't the case. Wait, is he getting larger? What the heck? Yep, we definitely have to get out of here. Definitely am running back to the train. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness, he's eating Warren. He killed him. That gives us even more of a reason to run away. We can't risk being killed at all or else we'll be his dinner. 
All right, Charles, it's finally just us and you. We've come a long way to finally face off in a proper one-on-one, -on -one, and now's your end. You'll pay for Eugene's death, and you'll pay for the cult you spar. You're going down tonight, demon. I'm sorry, this thing can teleport now? How did that much power grant him teleportation? Gosh, he is so freaking massive. How can a spider train as grotesque as him get that much bigger? Look at those freaking massive spider legs. Guys, I don't have scraps. I think we're screwed already. You can't be serious, Donald. You have no scraps. No scraps, low on armor, and you've only chipped a fourth of his health away. Either something crazy will happen, or this is a hard loss. Darn it all! This was supposed to be the big moment. Now we're totally screwed. What went wrong? Did I really need that many scraps? Probably so. Now look at your health. He's chipping you away as well. You're gonna die. Okay, seriously, this is really bad. This might be it, Donald. Brace yourselves! This can't be. Not like this. How could I lose to Charles because I didn't have scraps? I'm sorry, Eugene. It's all over. All right, time to get more scraps, and hopefully we'll have enough to fight Charles this time. Can't lose to him like that. Does this mean more country roading then, boys? Yes, Joe, this does indeed mean we'll be going through more of some rails. Excited or something? Absolutely, let's get going, boys, I'm excited. Well then, we'll get the show on the road. Hey guys, can I bring something up before we head back to fighting Charles again? Um, sure Joe, what is it? Of our time we've been riding this train, I don't think we've ever talked about each other's day and stuff. We've never really had a long and nice conversation while riding to our destination. Oh yeah, now that you mentioned it, we haven't really at all surprisingly. Well, uh, have anything you guys would like to talk about? Why not just talk about our day before we started recording this? I guess we could do that. How's all of our days been then? Joe, you start, then Obama, then me. My day's been all right. Me and my wife, Jill, got to visit a Super Smash Brothers tournament uh, my son was attending. It was a very interesting time there. I remember the crowd making some strange noises when they saw him play Pichu or something like that. I don't know what the commotion was about, but still, overall, a nice day. Uh, Joe? I think your son was cheating in a Super Smash Brothers Melee tournament playing a Blue Pichu. I know this because I actually heard about it on Twitter just an hour ago. Wait, are you serious? Moving on now. My day's been okay. I didn't really do anything with my wife today, but I did watch a movie with my son just a couple hours ago. We decided to rewatch a classic my son always watched back when he was a child. Space Jams, a timeless movie, could never go wrong with that movie. Wow, Space Jams? I feel like I haven't heard of that movie in ages. Sounds like you all had a nice day. My day was also good. My family and I went to a local church a little far from where I was at. Our original plan was just to see what the church was like, but instead the whole place broke out into cheering over me and my family. Eventually they continued with their worship and teaching of the gospel and was nice. Sometimes I forget you're a pretty set in stone Christian. I'm glad to know we all had a wonderful day today. I wish we could do this more often. Of course we can. In fact, we could just go to Donnie's place and ride that train again like we did last time. Oh yeah, random question, Barry. Remember when we escaped the back rooms, you said you'd be a follower of Christ if we succeeded? Yeah, actually, I've only looked a bit into the Bible so far, but the stuff on there is pretty interesting, although the one thing I have to admit I'm a bit confused about and wasn't pleased with was- All right, Charles, it's time for round two. This time, you're not gonna have it easy like last time. I even repainted my train yellow just for this occasion. Remind me why you did that, Donald. It's probably just because of the color of his hair, that's all. Well, whatever the reason, I hope you win this time, Donnie. You got this. Thanks, Joey. This time, I'm smoking his little baby face into the dirt. This guy will wish he was never born to begin with. Your teleportation doesn't mean anything in the face of Donald J. Trump. I'm ready to finish you more than ever before.
And this time now we have the scraps to spare for the extra help. We'll finally avenge my long lost cousin, Eugene. Charles will finally pay for his death. We're taking you down, Charles. Better part about this is that we won't need to deal with the cult anymore. Charles already did the dirty work for us. Once we're done with him, it's all over. It should tell you something that my rocket launcher is now landing its shots. You know, Charles, it's not too late to give up now. Persistent as always, this train is. He just won't let up. At least we have the scraps for him this time. Though I have to admit, I'm burning through more than I thought. Please don't say that, like, as if we're going to lose again. It is fine, Biden. I have more than enough to beat this guy down. I mean, look at his health. We've already chewed through more than half of it. We will, and I really mean it. We will win this. Having a hard time catching up, Charles? I'm starting to think your new teleportation powers isn't getting you anywhere. Sucks for you that we don't plan on sleeping on the job either. You will fall face flat beneath the island once I'm done with you. Face it, Charles, you've already lost. Look at the work Bob is putting in. Charles just can't catch up. Thank you, Bob, for this wonderful weapon. We've truly won this fight. Holy cow, Donald, he's almost done. How many scraps you got left? I think I have only one remaining, so I have to make this count. But judging from my health versus his, we're winning this, no doubt. Whoa. What's happening, guys? I don't know, what is happening? It's the bombs. The plan is going into full motion. This is the end, Charles. We've won! Ah, so he does feel fear, I see. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Now that is how you kill a demonic spider train thing. We've cleared the mission, gentlemen. We're finished here. Eugene, I don't know if you can see us from the stars above, but we did it. Holy cow, finally we can end the video here. We've been recording for quite a while now, so shall we do the outro, guys? Absolutely, I don't see why not. We finished the game after all. Let's finally wrap it up like a neat present on Christmas. Well, viewers, that'll wrap it up for today's video. This was an absolutely crazy experience and journey we went through. So we hope you enjoyed the ride we went on. If you're still here by the end of it all, please consider liking, sharing, commenting the video, and subscribing to Jared Gaming. It helps Jared and us presidents push more of these kinds of videos for you all. With how long it took to make this video, we hope you guys won't expect these too frequently. All of us, including Jared, are busy one way or another. But because of the insane amount of support every single one of you have given us, we'll be sure to release more of these videos in the later future. It truly means the world to us with how much you all love what we're trying to create. So we hope we won't disappoint you later down the line. It may not seem like it, but it really helps with suggestions on what games we could play. We promise we'll try to do more than just horror content. We'll bring out some wacky stuff as well. We also plan on doing more than just gaming as well. Right now, we don't have any set ideas on what yet, but once they come down the lane, we hope you'll be excited for those, even if it isn't gaming content. With all of that out of the way, it is time to say our goodbyes for now. We'll see you all soon. We promise. As always, take care, everyone. And, and God, God bless, bless you all. all. Wait a second, hold on. What the heck is this? Wait, another egg. But how? Where was this? Oh my gosh, where the heck is Donald and Barack when they need to see this? There's more eggs that Charles laid. I repeat, more eggs. We might be doomed.